Hello everybody and welcome to another tournament reveal, this time for the 4th anniversary tournament, yes! Gold Clash is turning four years old and we will celebrate that with a tournament video sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. Make sure you do subscribe to the channel, we are so close to 72,000. Can we hit it? That would mean a lot to me. Also, make sure to go to goldclashtommy.com where you can find uh, free content about Gold Clash. It's a platform for everything regarding Gold Clash. That special time of the year is approaching and with it the announcement of the fourth anniversary tournament. Here we can see the holes as well. We're gonna go through them in just a bit. We're hoping you like the selection we have for you with a good mixture of different courses including Sequoia Creek, Glen Monarch Estate and Porthello Cove. Be sure to get that all-important practice in early for the best chance at achieving those podium finishes. So get your club bags ready and we'll see you on the course. When it comes to the practice, Arena comes on Thursday at 9 a.m. Central European time. Um, it's uh, Thursday is the, uh, the 14th of uh, January. And we're going to take a look at the holes here real quick. We do have hole 1, Sequoia Creek, par 4. And uh, that one is definitely a possible uh, drop chance, either from the right side or from the left side. I prefer the left side due to be able to use yardage notes. Hole 2, par 3, it, that is the par 3 of the Sequoia Creek that has the massive funnel. I mean, that's a massive funnel. So if we just find the adjustment, we're going to have a fun time dropping hole in ones in that one. Glenmark Estate, par 5 on hole 3. That part, uh, that part 5 is extremely difficult uh, to get an albatross on. So I believe that's just going to be played for an eagle. Hole number four, uh, uh, Porthello Cove, par three. That is hole eight of the Porthello Cove. And that is a tough one. That is a tough one. Everyone that has ever played that hole in Tour 12 knows how tough it is to just stay on the fairway or on the green for that matter. To be able to see if we can make that one and hole in one hole, that's going to be very interesting. I do feel that there will be a lot of pars on hole number four. Hole number five, Portello Cove par four. If we have tail win in any shape or form, we can go green. Uh, otherwise in headwind we need to lay up, but it's still a possible chance for an eagle regardless what win we're having. Hole six, Portello, uh, green, nah, Glenmark State par five. A par five where the eagle is a drop because we cannot really reach for the green in two if it's not the absolute best possible win. So that one is actually pretty fun when having tailwind, so we can actually fight for that eagle. Hole 7, Glenmark State Par 3, we have this one in tournaments a lot of the times. Uh, and I really do like that hole. I know many think that it's an inconsistent one, but I've always had a nice time on hole 7. Hole number 8, one of my favorite par 4s of the Perthello Cove. As we can go left side, do a rough bump towards the pin. In tailwind, we can, if lucky, go green as well. And we'll see what wind we have. Hole 9, Sequoia Creek. There's a rough bump or just a bounce of a shot. Tough one to make an albatross on as well. And I do believe that's going to be an eagle. Uh, hole uh, in the end. So, par 3's good chance besides hole 4 in my opinion. Par 4's very good chance, all of them. And when it comes to par 5's, those are played for an eagle. So I do estimate the scores to be around minus 12 to minus 14 to be a decent 9. Obviously we need to play a little bit better to win in the end. When it comes to the tournament guide, I will have hole guides for you. I will have playthroughs for you. All of that for free. As usual, the general tournament text guys will be out already on Thursday the 14th if you are a patron or a member here on the channel. Make sure you become that. Uh, also, when it comes uh, to the tournament week, we start off with a stream Monday morning as usual to just take a look at the wind, go through the holes, having some fun, you know? The classic Monday stream marathon there. On Tuesday, we have a stream uh, during the evening, but also that is the first day, uh, first release of the Ultimate Tournament Guides qualifying round and make sure you get that package. You can now order for the individual divisions, which you haven't been able to do in 2020, but you can do that now. Make sure sure you get your package there and be ready. Then when it comes to the week there, there will be streams, there will be some videos as well to help you out in opening round and in weekend round. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, you hit that bell button so you are ready 
for that as well. Make sure to comment in the comment section below to let me know what you think of the fourth anniversary tournament. And as soon as we are there, we will have that added on the website as well for you to check out the initial elevations uh, uh, as, as well. a lot of as well here now with my proper English. In the end though everyone, a massive thank you for watching this tournament reveal and the video here is sponsored by Gold Clash and Play Demic. Let's get some hype for the fourth anniversary tournament.